So here we're starting to take the tins off the Sportster. Uh, we're starting on the gas tank here. Everything was disassembled and then put back together before I bought the bike. Or it seems that way. So there's no fuel lines or petcock or anything to take off of that. So uh, we just get those off. Front and rear bolt. And everything pops off pretty easy. See here once we got the gas tank off there are some big dents in it uh, there's gonna be a later video of me personally trying to get those out to see how that goes if not we'll just go buy a new one in the way of that oil tank is the mount for the oil tank that comes into the transmission here uh, get a bigger wrench Ta-da! Uh, see, the oil tank is pretty good shape. You know, there's a little divot on the back. I'm not worried about that. Um, it'll look good. All power coated. I'm not gonna worry about this piece. That looks new anyways. Well, here you can see the, I already took the seat and the rear fender off. The video kind of disappeared on that, but hey, it's, it's here. You can see it's gone. Uh, we're taking off the rear shocks are gone and taking off these fender struts. Okay. Uh, we do have some plans for the rear end here. We'll see where go. that finds us. So we got the fender struts out because I'm not going to reuse those. Got most of the shocks off. That is going to be an eBay item. From there so hey we're stripped down at least tins are off everything i need to go to the powder coater minus the bob fender we'll see where we are with that i did think about powder coating that uh, rear drum but hmm, we'll see we'll get there that's all we got for tonight you guys take care